Hello, welcome to Pursuit of a Perfect System. My name is Terry Ellis. I'm an audio reviewer and a Dirac Live calibrator. How are you all doing? Well, I hope. About a week ago, there was some very interesting hi-fi and home cinema news that was presented to the industry press and it instantly grabbed my attention. UK speaker manufacturer PMC had been appointed UK distributor for Martin Logan speakers and all their full range of products which includes a whole range of speakers and subwoofers. So I contacted PMC to find out some more details and they kindly invited me down to their HQ. So yesterday I paid them a visit and from that visit came some really interesting things. Now you guys know me, I captured most of it on camera for you which I'll turn into a two-part mini-series that I hope you enjoy. If you do enjoy the videos, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more of this type of content. I'll be seeing you all soon and make sure you come back for part two. Oh, so come all the way up to obviously Beagle's Way. It is Beagle's Way, isn't it? It is. Where yep. we are to see PMC. But we're here to talk to, to PMC, not about PMC. We're here to talk to them about Martin Logan. When I found out the news that PMC had taken on Martin Logan as a brand, it was really quite interesting. Why did PMC take on Martin Logan? And I suppose is that a conflict of interest? Okay, uh, it's a very good question. And uh, essentially it's been something that's been in, in my plan for PMC UK distribution uh, for about the last nine months. Now essentially, you have two elements to the business, PMC manufacturing and PMC UK distribution. And that would be the division that I kind of operate. But historically, well, for 21 years, certainly, we've been the distributor for Bryston products, which we offer alongside PMC, and then more recently, AVM, which is a German streaming amplifier brand. And uh, to make commercial sense and to operate guys that, you know, that service our customers, you know, in the field, uh, running a service department, you know, there's a critical mass of revenue that you would have to capture to make that a viable business. And, uh, and we were successful with those three brands, but adding another, uh, would always make that easier for us. So Martin Logan uh, was very much a prestige brand that had been offered in the UK, and, and many people will know them for their you know, magnificent electrostatic panels. Uh, so that was you know, very much of an appetite for me to capture that. But if uh, bundled along with that, they are a, you know, a huge manufacturer in their own right, operating in Canada and, uh, and in Kansas uh, in America. They, uh, they offer a, a huge suite of products. So essentially the, the commercial decision was to, you know, to reinforce the complete package that PMC distribution offer. And, and Martin Logan offered a great opportunity because they have a, a greater reach with the SKUs that they bring to market. And that includes ceiling speakers, uh, flat panel uh, uh, devices to go with you know, TV sets, uh, standard domestic monitors, Subwoofers with very clever room correction uh, involved, and so it's a great it's a great complementing range of products that sort of underpins what PMC does. So, so Martin Logan as a brand, I think most people probably know it. Um, what can you tell us about it that maybe people wouldn't know or would be uh, of interest to know? Well, I suppose uh, because of the nature of of, of how it's been uh, offered for sale in the UK, most people would kind of. Uh, will be familiar with that form of loudspeaker and that of course is that you know is very similar to the quad electrostatic everybody knows the ESL 63 and the you know the predecessor the 57 so they're arguably known for that kind of high-end uh, strategy in that marketplace uh, but I suppose the biggest news is that people will probably sort of just perceive them as a kind of Rolls-Royce brand that that sits in that ecosystem alone but of course in America they're through their retail channels, one of their big, big customers is Magnolia. They're the number one speaker brand for standard domestic monitors like the Motion Series and the Motion Slim products and so on. So I suppose that would be the big news in the UK is that most people, uh, myself included, perceive them as a brand that specialised in the only the very high end sector of our business. Mm. In, in terms of uh, obviously quality, PMC is a company known for quality products, quality speakers, quality manufacturing. Does Martin Logan align itself with that in terms of manufacturing quality and uh, production? Yeah, very much so. Yeah. I think uh, they have very similar shared values with us. And as I said, they must be to remain successful you know, in this marketplace. We've all seen speaker companies and brands be acquired and redistributed, and then they kind of fall away to the wayside. To engage a customer base, you have to 
offer a great sounding product that's well made and uh, and support it for a long long time and i think they've built their you know their business and they're very very strong in their own market in america but their reach globally is you know is not as good and uh, and so yes uh, one of the reasons why we did choose to partner with them is because i think they have very similar values to us and it is about the sound and their customer base and doing things in the right way and uh, i think that's their main objective very much and they're very much customer focused uh, with all of their panels, they can repair every single panel they've ever made, uh, bar one, the original models, I think. Correct, so, and that's from 1981, so the yeah. support product... I mean, the, the yeah. product support is... Well, is, I mean, it's breathtaking. Yeah, yeah. so in, in, that, in that way, they're very, very similar uh, ethos. And also, their ethos of, of um, reproducing music exactly as it was recorded, that's their main focus. And that's exactly the, uh, the same ethos of... PMC got, um, and also have their, their, their ranges. Uh, we were discussing originally about um, their ranges. We've got products. There's no overlap between what PMC are doing and what Martin Logan are doing um, because they have the Motion series that come in uh, up to the the 25 series, and then they've got uh, products that come between the 25 series and the Fat Finestria. So it's, it's a nice dovetail it does. package. It kind of synchronizes well and doesn't sort of conflict with, with the price points that we manufacture our speakers at. And of course, as we all know in audio, there is no right or wrong. It's just what you like and what you don't. And, uh, you know, and they have their philosophy and a, you know, and a belief that they're doing what they're doing and their customers believe that the same as the people do you know, for PMC. And of course, we're very, very embedded in the studio market because people in many ways use a PMC product as a tool. You know, they're sitting in a studio, near field monitoring for 10 hours a day. Fatigue is a kit, you know, it's a critical issue, reliability, uh, resolution. And so, you know, we have our customer base for the values and the beliefs that we employ in a product and, and Martin Logan share exactly the same thing for their customer base. We've spoken about maybe um, what Martin Logan might add to the PMC distribution brand. Mm -hmm. What will PMC distribution do for Martin Logan as a brand? Well, hopefully uh, <laughs> deliver them a larger share of the UK market through the retailers that we serve. And uh, and I think with with the exposure to the the other offerings that they make and and they you know they really have got some quite specific solutions. I mean, we all know that there are devotees to certain subwoofer brands and, and certain flat panel companies that operate in that space. Well, this is a company with a great brand and, and a great degree of heritage that kind of have the ability and the, you know, and, and the resources to reach into those sectors. So you're giving customers a different choice, but arguably offering a, a, a similar but different solution. You know, they're either using electrostatic panels in their higher end audio products or folded, you know, ribbon tweeters, and it's a, and it's an interesting story, and it's not used, you know, universally in our, you know, in our sector. Slightly different tangent of the question: separating PMC from PMC distribution, just for people that might not be aware. Obviously, yeah. What is PMC distribution, and how does it differ from PMC speakers? Okay, so we're a business that operates on three sites. Uh, PMC manufacturing uh, manufacturing is based in Luton, and you've got the head office where we are today in Biggles Wade, and another. Another site just up the road in you know in Sandy where we operate sort of cabinet storage and, and it's like a sort of a supplementary facility that we have. Uh, PMC started as a brand with Adrian Loder and Peter Thomas uh, making a project speaker for the BBC essentially and that's grown and grown and grown since 1991 and uh, we 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 serve arguably what, oh, between 40 to 50 countries you know all over the world with PMC products in both the consumer and the and the pro sectors. And that is a very successful business that operates independently. In the UK, where, uh, you know, we largely uh, service, you know, retailers, you, you, you offer your brand, but many, many retailers don't have access to everything. So you have to, as a, as a distributor, offer them solutions for their products. And so we operate the business. Of course, it's, you know, it will always be about PMC, the brand, because that is the ownership name, if you wish. But we offer two and now in fact three other brands alongside with PMC and thus PMC distribution came about and that was about three years ago. Obviously one of the uh, companies you distribute is Bryson with their yes. legendary 20 year warranties and stuff like that. Do you pick brands based on kind of that level of I suppose quality or, or trust or? Um... Absolutely yeah I mean we you know we it's always a, a careful considered analysis as to who you would want to stand in front of and whether you can serve them properly and uh 
you know, Bryston products are, you know, uh, you know, your right to sort of, you know, pick out. They do have an exceptional warranty. I mean, the best in the marketplace. And of course, we offer the very same, uh, you know, uh, warranty on our passive products. But they also sonically have to match and blend with what we do. I mean, you can have a miracle, you know, a superb product, but if it doesn't actually work with what you're doing or you're finding that you're having to compromise things in rooms or, or, or configurations, then that's not a smart commercial choice. So the product has to stand up and, and be credible in its own right. And then from there, you would move on to how does it work with what we sell and what we want to do? And if they do all harmonize, then that is a smart commercial decision. So I'm really interested in Martin Logan. I want to go and uh, visit a dealer and have a demonstration of some of their products. You know, when, when will they be available and when, when can I go and get them? Sure, okay, so it's a very good question. Uh, the ambition is to have 12 uh, marquee retailers appointed by Christmas this year, and they will have uh, a large profile of the masterpiece products. By then, there's a new motion range coming to market, and some of those will be available, you know, as well. So, uh, we will have a network of dealers throughout the UK. There will always be a slight disconnect with the amount of dealers that you will have in the north and the south, purely from a living demographic point of view. But I would expect that we would have 12 retailers and uh, representing Martin Logan masterpiece products and and below by the end of the year. What well, I suppose from a from a sound quality point of view. What what uh, what attributes stand out about Martin Logan speakers, especially the electrostatics that uh, attract you to them? Ah, oh, well, uh, for me, it's if you take into account how big the electrostatic panel is in its own right, its dispersion characteristics far exceed what a pistonic driver can achieve. So they have a huge, huge sound stage, and they have a very open, sweet kind of sound. They are never edgy, so it's a very uh, uh, it's a very high resolution detailed sound but with a huge dispersion characteristic which makes it quite unique in the marketplace. Martin Logan are most known for two channel but for every model they make they make a centre channel and a matching sub so if you want to create a, a phenomenal uh, home theatre system you know, Martin that's, Logan is a good brand yeah, that's possible to look at Martin and the vo Logan. being the voicing being the same as well uh, you can mix and match products so as Ian was saying earlier that the the with a center channel. If you're yeah. compromised on space, you could yeah, exactly. you, know, you could drop in a motion center channel and that would perfectly integrate with some electrostatic panels on the left and right. Mm. So that's absolutely ideal. And also being such a, a large company, um, there's over 220 people working in the, uh, in the, um, uh, in the site uh, in Canada. In the site in Canada. And they've got 80 people in Kansas. It's a huge company and massive resources. They've got the largest, um, largest anechoic chamber in North America, huge R&D department. So they're working on some really interesting products, which obviously helps the future. Sure. So they've got some really interesting products that, uh, that will be delivered here soon, which is uh, really, really exciting. Very exciting for yeah, us, yeah. Exactly, yeah.